If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we're going to start working on our filament admin panel series and I want to go ahead and start setting this project up. Because I have Laravel installed globally, I'm just going to go ahead and do Laravel new. I'm going to call it coders filament admin panel. We are going to go ahead and add the jet flags. What this will do is it'll give us options as to whether or not we want to use Livewire or if you want to use Inertia. So I want to go ahead and use Livewire. And will we be using Teams? No, we will not. While that runs, I just want to give you a rundown of what we'll be using for this project. We are going to be using Laravel and the version is 9.19. Laravel Jetstream will be 2.11 and Livewire will be 2.5. We're also going to be using Spady's Laravel permissions package and that will be version 5.5. Now everything else, we're going to be using Tailwind and we are using the version of V3.0.0. Now the reason I'm giving you all that information is because, well, let's say two, three months, one of these versions change and therefore you try to follow along with this project and you realize, hey, something's not working. I want you to know exactly which versions of which things that we are using so that you'll be able to debug your code and decide if you want to change a version or upgrade something or really just bring it up to the level that you need to be to have the functionality the same. So this way you can go and look for if a function changes or anything like that, you can go ahead and find the documentation for the version and then just fix it the way it needs to be fixed in order for it to be able to work correctly. This is only an admin panel series that we're going to be working on. I have several admin panel series on my channel and I wanted to add another to be a resource for you to look at how things work and see what you might want to use, what you might not want to use. I am not doing any specialized functionalities for any particular project. This is just going to handle the roles and permissions aspect to the admin panel. You'll be able to connect it to a project where you find it suitable. If you do want to see how we add an admin panel to a project, I have two videos that I did for Filament where we added the admin panel to the e-commerce series and we also added repeater fields to handle invoices. If you're curious to see how that is, I would suggest checking out those videos. Okay, great. Now it's all done. So let's go ahead and open up that file in our text editor. So it's coders filament admin panel. And then we'll just go ahead and exit out of here once it's done. In here, the first thing that I want to do is I want to open up the .env file. And as you can see here, I already have the database set up and this is what my database is called. And I want to change the app name. So we'll do coders filament admin panel. So let's go ahead and migrate this table. So everything is all set up. So now we can go ahead and I'm going to open up another one. And here I'm going to start our server. So we'll have PHP artisan serve. And on this side, we'll do npm run dev. Let's check the browser and make sure that's up and running. Fantastic. We have our Laravel project set up and good to go. Now, if we go ahead and head over to the filament documentation, I will be leaving links in the description and as a pinned comment for everything that we're using today. So don't worry, you'll be able to find it there once the video has been posted. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to check the requirements. First, we need PHP 8.0 or higher, Laravel version 8.0 or higher, Livewire 2.0 or higher. And we've already checked that once we set up the project. What we can do is go ahead and install filament. And then I'll open up another terminal. Go ahead, paste that in. We'll go ahead and let it run and install it. Okay, great. So it's been installed. The next step is to, if you want it to automatically upgrade, what you would do is you would put this in your composer.json and it will automatically update whenever the project has been run. I don't want to do that. I find that that's not really something that I would want to do considering I don't want to have this project update on its own because if I don't update any other parts to the project or any other packages that we're using, then it makes no sense for it to update on its own if I don't know if it'll be compatible or not. Okay, so that's why I'm not going to run this command right here. But we can go ahead and also make a user. Now we're going to change this user later. We're not going to change it, but we're going to do something different for these users. For now, we're just going to do this one. And we'll do admin. Admin at admin.com. Password is password. Success. You may not log in. Would you like to show some love? I already have. <laughs> okay, so clear that. And let's go see if we can get to that route. 
So right in the browser, we'll just go straight to admin. Filament has been installed and we can access it. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so we have the bare bones all set up and we will change all of this later. But as you can see, this is a dashboard. This is the only link that we have. And this will take you back to the welcome route. And if you go over here, you see that we have a drop down with our admin name and we also have a sign out button which we can access. And there is a footer down here as well. The next step would be to something that we can do is publish the config file. So if we need to change parts of the config, we can. We'll have access to that right here. Let's just continue installing everything that we'll need. Something we can do too is publish the translations. I know someone was asking me about these. I'm going to go ahead and do them to show you how they are done. So first let's go ahead to the config file and let's take a look and see what we have. The first thing that we have here is the path and that was that admin route that we just hit. So it's basically pulling it from the env file. But if you wanted to change the route, you could do so here. So if you wanted it to just be there, then you could do that as well. The core path, the core path is filament. The domain, again, environment variables that you can change at any time. The brand is the app name that's from our .env file. We also have a guard, which is the filament off guard. And here's the login page. That's the one that we already just used when we logged in. And the default pages that they've given, the namespace is in the app filament pages. This is the path to them. And then the only one is registered is the dashboard page. This one right here. If we go down a little further, we have some resources, filament resources. The folder that they'll be in is the filament resources folder. And then we would just register other ones here if we wanted to. The account widget, the filament info widget. These are those widgets, the account widget and the filament widget. That's what those are. If we head down for Livewire, the namespace is app filament, path is app path filament. Dark mode is false. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just change that to true. We'll be able to have two modes, dark mode and the default mode, which is light mode if it's not dark. Okay. So uh, if we head down, there are database notifications that are also possible to set up. I haven't done anything with that, but it is there. Broadcasting, you can also broadcast some things. So I guess if you have a notification and you wanted to broadcast it to any one of these channels, you would be able to. And the layout. Our layout has action, modal, actions, alignment left. This is just aligning everything within the pages. We also have a footer. We can turn that to false. We don't really need that. Max content width is null. Notifications, this just gives you the display of the notifications. The sidebar is collapsible on desktop. Customizing the sidebar it doesn't have a favicon and the default avatar provider. They do have UI avatars, which is if you've used the Fortify Jetstream Laravel setup, you'll know that has profile photo. That's also like how they have it there as well. I'm going to be talking more about these later. For now, this is just what the default avatar is. The default file system is in the public folder. You have Google fonts. That's basically just what it's pulling in. Middleware. There's an off middleware and there's a base middleware, and it's just pretty much based off of the Laravel middleware. So let's see what some of the changes look like that we just made. So now we have dark mode. We got rid of our footer here. And if we drop it down, you see that we can now toggle light mode and dark mode. That's easy functionality set up right for us out of the box. So now we have somewhat of a skeleton to work with. If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help out the channel. Here's a video YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist to follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.